April, by Jorge Luis Borges. Audiobook 1x1. A prayer thousands of times, and in both of the languages that are a part of me, my lips have pronounced, pronounced, and shall go on pronouncing, the Paternoster, yet I only partly understand it. This morning July 1, 1969 I want to attempt a prayer that is personal, not inherited. I know that such an undertaking demands a sincerity that is more than human. First of all, obviously I am barred from asking for anything. Asking that my eyes not be filled with night would be madness, I know of thousands of people who can see, yet who are not particularly happy, just, or wise. Time's march is a web of causes and effects, and asking for any gift of mercy, however tiny it might be, is to ask that a link be broken in that web of iron, ask that it be already broken. No one deserves such a miracle. Nor can I plead that my trespasses be forgiven, forgiveness is the act of another, and only I myself can save me. Forgiveness purifies the offended party, not the offender, who is virtually untouched by it. The freeness of my free will is perhaps illusory, but I am able to give, or to dream that I give. I can give courage, which I do not possess, I can give hope which does not lie within me, I can teach a willingness to learn that which I hardly know myself, or merely glimpse. I want to be remembered less as poet than as friend, I want someone to repeat a cadence from Dunbar or Frost or that man who, at midnight, looked upon that tree that bleeds, the cross, and to reflect that he heard those words for the first time from my lips. None of the rest matters to me, I hope that oblivion will not long delay. The designs of the universe are unknown to us, but we do know that to think with lucidity and to act with fairness is to aid those designs, which shall never be revealed to us. I want to die completely, I want to die with this body, my companion. The End Audiobook generated by, Read With The Ears